Coach DeMarco, and in today's episode of Focus, I'm going to take you through a baseline out-of-bounds play from the box series that has a flex ending. As I continue to share you plays from the box series, I want to remind you to keep it simple for your players. Using this series will make it easy for your players to adjust to wrinkles or new actions that you add to the series throughout the season, while making it very difficult for defenses to adjust because you always start in the box alignment. This is something that you can use with your team throughout the season, and it can really be your primary alignment and baseline out of bounds situations without really using any other alignment because there's so many actions out of it. This is one of my favorites. So as we've started in each of the different actions, we're going to start with our two, our one, our four, and our five, and I like to keep those players consistent. You could switch them but I think it makes it easy for your team and it also makes it difficult for defenses because they're not sure what you're going to run. Very, very simply, as we've started some of the other sets, we're going to have this two player lean on their player, whether it's a zone or man to man, and they're going to pop out to the corner. I've talked about this before. If you're having a tough time getting this pass out there, this player can back cut to the basket for a layup. You can go over the top to the one player, or you can have two screen for five who comes across to the corner. There's a lot of different things you can do to get the ball to the corner or back cut to the basket for layup. In this situation, I'm just going to show you that two is going to pop to the corner and they're going to catch, just like we do in our box one and box two. So we're going to go from three to two, and then we're going to have one lean on their player, and they're going to pop out as well. Three is going to come back in bounds like they do in box one and box two. But different in this situation, we're going to have two pass up to one. And we're going to have our four player rotate up. And we're going to go from one over to four. Now, typically what we've done in the past is have three pop out to the corner for a three-point shot off a five screen. We're going to add this flex ending here. So we're actually going to have three come over. And we're going to have two come flying down like they're going to set a screen for three like they do in box one when they pop out to the corner. But this time, three is going to set a screen. We're going to have five pop out to this corner to clear space. Timing is very important, as it is in the flex offense. And as our four player has the ball up here, you could have him catch at the elbow. You can have him catch a little higher if you want. We're going to have this two player come off. On a flex cut, will be open the first time you run it because they've never seen this. They always, Two has always been a screener out of this series. Hopefully go from four to two for a nice easy layup. If not, just like in the flex offense, we will have our three player on the block. And we're going to have one come down and set a screen. And three can curl to the elbow, to the top of the key. And you have that second option out of it. Sometimes what I would like to do is have <clears throat> four, the four player actually dribble at them and use more of a dribble handoff action, which would kind of get us back into our read and react or our dribble drive offense. If they're in zone, you're going to have the forward who's popped out to the corner. You're going to have, um, you're going to have your two player out there with the basketball. You're going to have your one here. You're going to have your three here. And obviously, you're going to have a center underneath. Your five player is going to be here. There's going to be a forward here. When this five pops out, you're going to get this forward to jump out. You're going to have your four out here with a guard on them. You're going to have your one out here with a guard on them. When your three player comes out here and we get this hard cut down to the basket, the center should pick them up. But a lot of times what happens is the forward will also chase through that screen and actually what I like to do is this three player can obviously come come off a screen but they actually can just pop up and we can hit them in the middle or we can have one walk this guard down and get this guard to kind of walk back screen that guard and then three could come off of that and you could hit them so you could run this against the zone you could run this against man to man it just depends where you're screening and what type of action you're looking for. But we've actually used this against the 2-3 zone, and it can be a very, very good thing for your team.